I mean, look, in, in today's uh, hosting ecosystem, if you don't have a CDN, you are behind. It's become, it's become a standard, right? And just, just to give our listeners an idea of what a CDN does, it stands for a uh, content distribution network. So what a CDN will do is they will deploy servers throughout the country, throughout the world, and those servers will synchronize certain content aspects of your website, such as images, uh, JSS, CSS. And that way, when your site's being delivered to your browser, it's being delivered from a closer server is, is yeah. ultimately what it comes down to. But it's still, all, all the backend complex functions are still done on your core server, wherever that is located. Now, just so uh, people know too, like if, you, if you have a local though, like a local small business, and I mean like you're a diner, right? You only, you, you only like you're a diner in Jupiter. Do they need a seat? I mean, probably not, right? Okay. But it's, it has become, I guess what I'm getting at here is that a CDN has become a standard in web hosting. If you're with a web host that doesn't offer a CDN, you're probably on the wrong web host altogether, right? Well, so, and the reason I brought that out is just playing a kind of devil's advocate because if you're a you know, diner in Jupiter, you might not think you need a CDN. But then if you think about all the people that travel to Jupiter, tourism perspective, they might be in different states, different countries. Good point, too. Yeah. Also, keep this point, too. It's, you, you can't just look at the users, either. You're like, you got to look at the search engines, right? It is going to yeah. increase load time, right? And increase yeah. performance or increase speed on, on loading on your website only helps your ranking. So, got to look at it from yeah. that standpoint, too. So, one, one thing I'll you know, bring about caching, like uh, minification and all that stuff, um, I hate with a passion. <laughs> 